hello baby P look at this budgie here okay mommy's having decaf coffee look I just put a lot of chocolate powder let's just ignore that budgie that <laughs> just flew away and I just love 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 this mmm oh so good mmm okay now should we put some fairy floss oh I love fairy floss anyway I bought them for the grandkids but of course, <laughs> I have to try it to make sure that it's okay. So, that's why I'm going to have fairy floss. And, it's already late in the afternoon. Uh, I just had a friend drop off some succulents. Look, it's crested. Oh, crested green Ionium. Oh, this is a Ionium Arboreum. And she's got a crested one for me in that gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful plant. Okay. And while I'm having my decaf coffee, we're going to have some German um, pretzel chocolate gingerbread. This is so yummy. And one is never enough. But I'm going to have my second one. This is my second one. I already had one earlier. So yummy. Oh, look at that. And it's soft. The gingerbread inside it is like, oh my goodness, mmm, 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 okay. Let's go check out the plants outside. The time for dilly-dallying, that means getting slack, being lazy, although I've been lazy lately, but I can't remember sitting down. <laughs> And relaxing so I don't know what I've been doing now I've been really flat out lately and I haven't had time to look out for my babies I bought this thing a few weeks ago and I just kept forgetting to show it to you hang on I like it so much that I actually bought two of them there you go look at that gorgeous gorgeous plant hang on I just finished ah, my decaf coffee Oh, so nice. Okay, this is called a serious monstrous crested plant. It's called a Ming Thing. A Ming Thing. It's like Chinese in it, Ming Thing. So, <laughs> my serious <laughs> Ming Thing. <laughs> it's a beautiful plant and it's gorgeous look at that beautiful ming thing i love this plant so much that when i saw one i was raving about it well actually before i bought it a day before i found it i should say i was looking online and i came across a photo of this plant and i said to the hubby i said i want a ming thing and then he said, what's that? It's some sort of cactus that's just so beautiful. The next day, we went shopping. What do I find at Bunnings? A Ming Thing. And the next day, again, after that, we went to another Bunnings. And I found another Ming Thing. <laughs> Actually, Wally found that one. And this is the first one I found. So this one is got like hairy. Look. It is so cute. It is such a cute, cute plant. I don't know what I can compare it to. So that one is also a Sirius, but it's just, okay. It's just called Sirius Monstros, but it's not a Ming thing. <laughs> I love saying that. Ming thing is smoother and compared to the Sirius Monstros. See the tip of it as well. It's got more hairline showing. And this one doesn't. So that is the difference. Beautiful, beautiful plant. My Echeveria Afterglow replace the Kante that was here before because the Kante I put in the garden where my former Afterglow used to live. But this Afterglow is going to be well looked after because during winter I'm not going to torture them. I'm going to put them in my protected area, uh, overhead covering, and my poor plants really need some attention. All these Ioniums got to go into the garden as well. So I'm changing all this area here. So next time that you see this area will be all different. And also my, oh, I'm just going to show you this beautiful plant. Where is that one? 
Peruvian blue. I did not expect it to have a bump, but look at all those bumps now. It's gorgeous. So I actually got a few babies out of that now. So it's a prolific grower. It's a fast grower and a cereal papa, which means it produces a lot of babies. So I like it very much. And it's also frost hardy already at this spot. While I'm here, okay. Oh, Kante. Oh, look, Kante. That's the big Kante. Because my big Kante is over on the other side. Over there. Can you see it? Over there? Okay, I think. Hang on. See that white thing in the distance? Okay, that one there. So that's Kante. And now this is a big Kante. Does that look beautiful? They're very easy to grow. Very easy to look after. I've got them in my master succulent soil mix and water them. You can water them. I do water head, uh, overhead watering with them. So they're not really fussy. But if you don't want to get rid of the farina or the white stuff that's on them, uh, the white coating, the powdery stuff, or the sun's coming out again, then I suggest soaking the whole pot in uh, water, of course. But if... It's in a situation where in it's in here, like where I have it now. I can't do that because it'll be too difficult for me to remove that and too heavy. And I'm going to drop it on my beautiful plants down here. So what I do with that one, I just water the whole lot of it. So I just hose it down. And I, I would say in summertime, I water it once a month. And during in wintertime, no water at all. And other times I only water when it needs it. So which means if it's looking a bit sad, then I water it. But then if it's still looking perk up like it is now, I leave it alone and don't water it. For the past few days, I would walk in this path here, in this area here. I smell this foul smell that sort of just goes all around the garden that I could not understand where it's coming from. And it smell like a dead rat. I kid you not, it smells like a dead rat. And I was looking for it, and I was looking underneath here. If there's anything died down there, or I looked everywhere <laughs> in short. And then finally, I found it. See this beautiful thing that's flowering here? So this is called Crassula deltoidea. And it's beautiful flower. So for about over a week now, it's been flowering. And so in my search for this foul smell, it smells like a dead rat, I'm telling you. Not that I've smelled a dead rat before, but I would assume that's what it would smell like. And the blowflies are coming in. And I haven't seen big blowflies before, like what I've seen these past few days. And... It's because of this plant. So beautiful plant. I was going to do an arrangement with it. Very easy to grow and very beautiful. Look at that. See the color? It's just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful plant. But, uh, and it's almost like, uh, it's like it glows. The farina or the white coating that's in it. See, look at this. See, small leaves, but it's got that white powdery stuff and sort of feels sticky as well. But the leaves doesn't smell. But the flowers do. I wonder if I rub my fingers in there. No, it doesn't smell. But yet, when you come up close, like... Oh! <coughs> I'm telling you, you're going to gag. And oh, that's really bad. It's really bad smell. So it's giving me a headache now. So, okay, let's move on. Beautiful, but deadly. Echeveria Gavoidis Martins Hybrid. I've had this plant growing for a while, hidden from the sun, because I want it to grow. I'm trying to propagate it to have babies. So I've had this plant for about over a year now. I've had this, and I started with just one plant. When I bought it, it was actually about this big. So the smallest one here is about that size when I got it. So it is a fast grower in that sense. And now I've got one, two, three, four, five, maybe, oh, six, another plant in the corner here. So six plants in about a year and a half's time. 
So Echeveria agavoides martens hybrid. It loves water, but again, the rule with succulents as well, so this is still heavy, and the leaves are all perked up and nice and uh, chubby. Well, I, I would say they're still, they don't need water for a very long time still. So until I feel that the leaves are soft, that's the only time I'm going to water them. But then now I've got it growing outside here, exposed to my 50% UV area. So before, it used to grow under there. So it's hidden from the sun and it grew really, really fast but also it grew green so i don't know whether this is gonna change color or go red on me but at the moment it's still green the original plant uh when i bought this from the mother plant she the lady i got it from had it growing uh in a covered area as well protected bright light a lot of bright light but it's got overhead covering and i only bought it because of the shape of the leaves they just have that flick to them so how they're all sort of spread out it's like very snobby i call it very snobby flick see look at that it's just beautiful the shape of it i love the shape even though if it stays green doesn't matter but this one is starting to color up the tips are starting to show some uh coloring turning it into pink tips so far so anyway another beautiful plant echeveria agavoides martens hybrid this is my Echeveria Lola. Lola, la 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 Lola. Anyway, Lola here. This is a late comer. So I've only acquired this Lola this year, these two Lola. And I have a few Lola that has different look. And I'm going to do a video specifically about Lola later on. Actually, next year, ready? But this is also a Chavilla lilac spoon. This is my original lilac spoon on my mother with the ant coming in here. And from this mother, I have many, many, many babies. And it flowered this year again from the flower stalk or the stem. I harvested a lot of the leaves as you can see in here. And look, hang on, I'm just going to block this because the sun is no good. You can't see with the sun. There you go. So even that one there. So can you see the roots coming out? And the babies over here. Look. Do you see them? They're a fast grower. And see the leaves? I just pluck them. And drop it in there. And look at the roots. And that one's got roots. The roots came out first. And the pimple. You can see the tiny little pimple. So there you go. See the pimple there? So, they're a fast grower, and my first, my first generation, uh, which I plucked last year and has grown. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It is over here, well, one of them, and look how beautiful. This is Graptaveria Topsy Debbie. It's another name for it as well. So, this one has got a bird dropping on the edge there. <laughs> so but it is a beautiful plant and nice and pink look at that gorgeous beautiful so topsy-devi or a lilac spoon <laughs>